Hello Leo, Amy Energy here with a tarot message. This is for all placements of Leo. If you have not, take a moment now to subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell to be notified whenever I make a new video. All the links you need to connect with me are in the description box. Let's get into it, Leo. All placements of Leo. Thank you, angels, for revealing what we need to know right now for our highest and best. Thank you, Leos, for being here. First card is the Seven of Spring. Be assertive. Don't back down. Don't back down from what you believe. Courageously stand up for yourself. Okay, this is your card, Leo. You're coming out here in a fierce energy, ready to take on any challenges to bring yourself closer to the harmony that you desire, the vision that you have in your mind. I feel like you're seeing what you want here so clearly. All right, now we do got ego coming out. 15, the illusion of being trapped, placing too much importance on material items, getting caught up in fear or worry. Okay, Leo, so we definitely, I feel like you have a lot going on here with the Eight of Spring, with this Renewal card and the Queen of Autumn. You have money on the mind, your family, and you could be trying too hard to control um, every aspect of a situation, okay? The stability could be coming up and it's stability is more than just financial though and I feel like you could be healing or needing to heal okay we have awakening there's a, definitely a spiritual situation <laughs> unfolding here um, right now we could be being faced with certain limitations but these limitations are here to force us to go within because there is there is, you know, our next steps. I feel like the only way we get the clarity is by going within. Okay. So there could be a need to change an approach here. All right. And you could have known this in the past. I feel like you stepped back from a situation because you felt like you didn't have like all of the information needed. Like, you're very magical here, but I feel like you just felt like, okay, something's not ready. With the Two of Spring, there could have been a, been a um, power struggle, and my voice just was starting to go out. So you could have felt like you didn't have a voice in a situation, or, you know, that someone was, like, talking over you a lot. And um, I feel like we're definitely... We were working through something, learning to work together with somebody here in the past and overcome a certain challenge, but it took a lot of going within and, you know, just reviewing our own life up until this point, um, being our own teacher. All right. The center of your reading is the princess of winter. So I definitely feel like this is... You, Leo, realizing that you are your best teacher, your childlike self, by holding space for the child within you, you really release so much. Like, look at this big lion. I feel like you've been carrying this lion with you. You feeling like you have to always defend yourself, like you have to always be on the go, on the move. And you're realizing here that actually by taking a step, this step to honor your own inner child, hold space for your own inner child and open your heart to the love that maybe you longed for as a child. This is very deep. This is letting go of the past. This is an ending that makes way for new opportunities, okay? And this is what's actually going to bring abundance into your life, not working so hard and being, you know, always defending yourself. We can actually surrender and be very open-minded, um, inquisitive, realistic, right? This is information that can help you, but which may also be difficult to hear. Speaking the truth with kindness. You know, I feel like you have a secret power, but there's a truth about yourself that you're ashamed of. And you 
don't acknowledge it, right? And I, I don't know what this could be for you, but maybe, you know, it's that you yell, right? And when you do yell, you say, no, I don't do that. I never yell. But that is a part of your personality, okay? So we have the lovers coming out by embracing all aspects of yourself. That is how you overcome this power struggle, okay? The Ten of Autumn here. Something in the past, like you were motivated by your family to have like these uh, traditional values. And you could be questioning a lot of those values that were so important to you in the past. And really, it is a time to open your mind because some of your own values could be the very things that are hurting you. Right? Finding a balance, bringing fun into your life. That is something that's really going to help out for my Leos. The last card is the Ace of Autumn. This is a new beginning. This is, a, there's a lot of potential here for you if you believe in yourself. All of this inner child healing happening. Okay, a windfall of money, advice, or assistance. Look, this is the end of a very traumatic time. I feel like for a lot of you, you might have had a tough upbringing or childhood. Maybe you've romanticized the past in some ways, and now you're seeing it for how it really is. But ultimately, that's what's setting you free. Okay, so let's get you one oracle card over this reading here. Leo, this is a beautiful message for you. If it resonated, please take a moment to like and um, follow. Last card here is shift your perspective. There's definitely a situation in your life that could use a shift in perspective in perspective and you are protected by source so maybe it is feeling that you are unsafe in certain situations and feeling like you have to always defend yourself you are a fierce warrior here but you do not always have to be in control of a situation because you're always in control of yourself and how you respond to a situation and Finding that value in yourself is what's going to bring it all full circle for you. So that's what I have for you, Leo. Whatever moment you are in, know it is a magical moment because you are there. All of the information you need is in the description box below. I love you. Take care.